Now I'm joined here by Longford Town captain on the night, Lee Stacey Lee. We needed a big response after last week's defeat and we certainly got it tonight. Absolutely, James. I think that's the most uh, complete performance we've had in terms of it wasn't just a half, it wasn't just 60 minutes or 20 minutes. We actually played re really well for 80, 90 minutes. So we're really happy with the response last. I think last week was just a really free game and the response there showed we can mix it with that side of the game, you know. Obviously, you know, it's a team performance on, on, on every game. And last week, from a, from a goalkeeper's perspective, you probably were disgusted with the result. But tonight, you know, you get yourself a clean sheet. You made a good few saves, especially in the second half. That header from, from Marty Waters, you must be delighted personally. Yeah, absolutely. Like, the, the ship six, like, when we're a really tight enough team, we don't concede many. It was, it was just madness, really. And you're looking at yourself and, and what can you do to do better, really. So I think I had a chat with Dara this week and... Just needed a reaction and um, I think go back to basics a little bit and I didn't complicate the game today and I think I think it helped me and it helped the team so um, the reaction is what was needed and thankfully we got it and we, we won with a clean sheet. Looking at the performance tonight in the first half we got that goal, a fortunate enough goal with the way Matt O'Brien crossed it in and there's there's speculation on Rob getting a touch or not, you know, we'll have to have a look at it but either way, you know, we were lucky to get it and then we were held in the first half, they had the win and the second we came out and, and got two more through Rob as well. Yeah, I think Rob did score the goal and I think that's the only reason I went in because Corey's a very good goalkeeper and I think the flick actually takes his, takes it off of his view and, and that's how it goes in. Um, and Rob again, like he's been brilliant. He's been absolutely superb and a hat-trick tonight. I'm giving him the hat-trick anyway, so delighted from. him. Well, the club will be delighted to give him a hat-trick as well, but we don't want to take Matt O'Brien's goal if, it's only, if, it's, if it is his goal, but we'll have a look at it anyway. But look, we look ahead to next week at home to Cove. You know, Cove are one of them teams that town seem to struggle against, whether it's home and away. But going into that game after a great win tonight and a clean sheet, you must be confident now. Yeah, I think the last time we played Cove in a 2 0, the credit to them, they were really good, but it was definitely our worst performance of the season. Last week was a freak. I wouldn't be looking too much into that, but against Cove, we were really poor. And after that, we changed things and went on a bit of a run. Obviously, one or two unfortunate results, but I think um, we're looking forward to next week because we showed tonight we can actually play that side of the game. So it should be a good one. A lot of supporters were probably a bit disheartened from last week's result, but as I said myself, it's important to look at where we are in the table. We're still toured, you know. We're three points ahead of Cabo now, who are behind us, and there's still another two games left. And as you've seen from other results around the league so far, anything can happen. Everything is still to play for. I think um, I think last week if we had a won, we, we had a great chance actually to go and win the league. So I can understand the the frustration from the supporters and and the way we kind of capitulated. It was just it was a freak job. Like we we've conceded two goals from set pieces all year, and for them to look like scoring every time last week, it was just it was just madness. So I fully understand the supporters. They're generally behind us, but look, we we, we understand, but. We, I think we did the right thing by bouncing back tonight. We haven't beaten Campaign in six games. So I think that will show that we're 100% for this team and we're wearing the heart on our sleeve. Thanks, Lee.